Hello, Truth Seekers. I hope that you're all doing well. So for those who are new, welcome. And of course, welcome back to everyone who's been here before. I go through the astrology first, and then we'll do the reading if you're not interested, which it's going to be really interesting. So I advise you stick around, but if not, look down below, you'll find a uh, timestamp. All right, <laughs> so, so getting into this, we are going to be covering the rest of January, as it turns out, and it's going to be interesting. So this first week, we have on the 20th, uh, the sun moving into Aquarius, which is going to give us some more of this Aquarian flavor, uh, this energy of the future, what we're moving into. And if that isn't enough, the next day, or that's on the 19th, sorry. The next day on the 20th, we have Mars conjunct Uranus in Taurus. This is at six degrees of Taurus. And this is continuing that, um, you know, where we're feeling a bit of unju injustice right? It's, um, this is six degrees of Taurus. So I'm thinking about the six of pentacles, which is the moon in Taurus. And we do have the moon entering Taurus, uh, <laughs> right, uh, before this might even be the same day. Um, so it's got that flavor to it, which is about reciprocity, right? Giving and receiving. And the, the people are, not feeling heard right and if we're not feeling heard we're 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 feeling this you know it's this mars <laughs> which is that fire energy and uranus the awakener um so this is like if there's a time that there's going to be conflict <laughs> it's now all right so uh we can expect something this is right around the time of the inauguration too so yeah all right just to keep our eyes open, right? Uh, but this, once again, this is where we're being, you know, the Taurus is a fixed earth energy. You can't get any more fixed <laughs> than Taurus. And so this is, you know, where we haven't been wanting to make the changes. We're being pushed ahead anyway. So, yeah. Next week, yeah, that's a, that's 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 going to flavor that week for the most part. The next week we have ah, beautiful full moon in Leo, and there is so much positive energy with this. So many auspicious signs with this. Um, you know, once again we do have a T square happening with that, and. I'm trying to, so this time we have Scorpio missing. So that's bringing the, bringing the passion. And we are, the, it's actually being filled by this Venus-Pluto conjunction, which it can go awry. But the cool thing is, I looked up the Sabian symbol for it. And guess what the Sabian symbol for it is? It's so beautiful. A nature spirit dancing in the midst of a waterfall. Oh, and I mean, does that not kind of, um, you know, that's very Capricorn. It's very sensual, uh, which it brings me to that Pluto, right? That's what uh, rules uh, Scorpio, that sensuality, that passion. Uh, so, so bringing that, that emotion in, right, with Venus once again, that the sensuality. So I feel like we're going to be given, um, yeah, this lightness of being and, and really getting into our senses and that that is where the answer is. And it's, and it's like this full moon is giving it to us. It's really beautiful. So, um, that's it. That one is at, uh, 25 degrees of Capricorn. And then, this is really beautiful, the moon is conjunct Jupiter, and no, not the moon, the sun. The sun is conjunct <laughs> uh, Jupiter, which is giving, you know, this beautiful 
energizing, compassionate, um, bene benefactor is what I want to say, right? It's like we're just, there's this generosity that, that's, that's coming out with it, right? This, and it's going to be like emotions, right? But that Leo moon is it's at nine degrees, right? And I feel like this in this instance, that hermit energy is just like it's being able to sit back and relax a little bit. <laughs> it's like a reprieve. But yes, at Leo at nine degree, I mean moon at nine degrees of Leo. The Sabian symbol is early morning dew salutes the sunlight. And, you know, we've been through this collective dark night of the soul. And it's not like, you know, we're completely out of the woods yet. But, you know, this is very fresh, right? The early morning dew, the witness, the, the emotion, greeting the sunlight, right? To kind of... Oh, dry the tear. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just really beautiful energy and very auspicious. It's an awakening energy. You know, there is also this uh, sense of, you know, those who have done wrong, you know, it's, there's the justice is coming for everyone, right? Whether that's good or bad. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be really lovely. And then at the end of this cycle, the 30th of January, we do have Mercury going retrograde in Aquarius. And I think this is right on time. Uh, after everything that's happened in January, you know, because no doubt it's it's going to be just as crazy as the first half. Uh, we need time to kind of sink back, right? That, that hermit energy, sink back into ourselves and kind of process it all. And this is more surface level, right? Whereas Pluto retrograde and the, those, those, uh, slower planets whew, grueling. This is, this is, this is faster and it's in an air sign. You know, it's this new energy, right? New solutions. So, I think it's going to be very beneficial for us. Of course, that carries us over into February. And that's going to be uh, exciting as well. I can already tell. <laughs> but we'll get to that then. But yeah, so that's that. And uh, let's see what the cards have to say about it. Hello, my beautiful Pisceans. I hope this finds you all well. So welcome, welcome back. My name is Christiana. I will be performing this reading for you today regarding the energies that will be affecting you during the time frame of January 18th through the 31st, 2021. Now, whew, so it's, it's strange. Like, I kind of lost my breath there, right at the beginning. And then, before, Previous to starting this, and I hadn't really felt this way before then, I was just kind of feeling strange. Like, just kind of weird. You know, not good or bad, just strange. So I definitely feel like um, you'll be wanting to ground, right? This, this seems to be... And, you know, we do have a lot of this fixed air energy, which is, in a lot of ways, completely opposite to you, right? Mutable water, flowy, emotional, <clears throat> then we have all this fixed air, which is, uh, you know, fixed. <laughs> it's, um, it's, you know, kind of, um, for you guys, it's almost like stagnant or stale air, right? Like, um, open up a window, get some fresh air, get out in, in nature, uh, that kind of thing, because I just, you know, and of course, I don't see Aquariuses, but for you guys, um, that kind of came to mind. Um, yeah, and I, I was pulled to use kind of an odd combination. I, we'll, we'll kind of see how this goes, but, um, you know, I get called to use things for a certain reason, so this ought to be interesting at the very least. Hmm, okay, we're gonna... 
Do just a little bit more here. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Pisces. This is a general reading, so it may or may not apply to you. And since it is a general reading, not everything may apply, right? So take what uh, resonates, leave the rest. I do encourage you to kind of uh, look at the cards and see what they say to you. That's also a very good way of getting a personal message through a general reading. All right, let's see what we've got here. Beyonce. Beyonce loves coming out for you guys. <laughs> Confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac. Be both everywhere and nowhere at once. When someone sings from the heart, don't go tone deaf. And this is at the heart of your situation uh, where you presently find yourself. All right. Beautiful. Hildegard von Bingen. Become like a feather on the breath of God. Gain wisdom through the study of the unknown. The soul is not in the body. The body is in the soul. And this is where you're consciously moving toward or what you think is possible. And below, we have Billie Holiday. If you are going to play, play with your whole soul. You have no understudy. Sometimes losing beats winning. That one come, likes to come out for you guys, too. Okay, and here we go. We have Caravaggio. Um, so this is what's going on in the uh, subconscious. Sorry, I might not have said that. So Caravaggio is at the bottom of the deck. Uh, try to keep violence metaphorical. Adjust your eyes to the darkness. A head on the shoulders is worth two in the hand. So, yeah, there's still, you know, kind of that feeling of um, wandering through the darkness right now. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, let's see what goes along with this. Let's get some tarot for Pisces, please. January 18th through the 31st. Messages for Pisces. Oh. Mother of Cups came popping out. Slippity slatty. <laughs> oh, beautiful. We have renewal, which would be judgment in a traditional deck at the bottom. And that what a beautiful card. Ugh. Oh. Okay, Father of Flames. Okay, yeah, we'll have to... I'll take care of it here in a minute. Two of Coins with Hildegard. And Five of Coins. Billy Holiday. Beautiful. Ace of Feathers in the Air Element. <laughs> air element in the air element like this is the uh epitome of of air so this is what your thought process right how your mind is working um how you're communicating fire element the lovers beautiful and this is can be your relationship with spirit, right? What's going on spiritually for you. This can also be where you're taking action or creative projects. Mother of Coins, beautiful, in the uh, earth element. Love it. This is what's going on in your day-to-day -day material world. And in the water element, we have Daughter of Cups. And this is what's going on with your emotions, uh, your relationships. Past, Eight of Coins. And Future, Sun of Flames. Ah, beautiful, okay. Um, yeah, let's go, actually you want to go here, okay, 
I wasn't sure which way I was wanting to do this, but I think that I want to do the crystal for the general energy. General energy, please, Spirit for Pisces. General energy for Pisces. January 18th through the 31st. What is the general energy of this time frame for Pisces, please? General energy, the time period of January 18th through the 31st for Pisces. What is the general energy? Hmm. Purification. And we have sacred play at the bottom of the deck. Right. Now, this will be a card to represent your energy. A card to represent Pisces. In the time frame of February. Me, oh, January 18th. <laughs> Interesting. Through the 31st. Card to represent Pisces energy. January 18th through the 31st. There it is. Ah, your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. And we have protection. Call back your power, cut the cords. Soul Retrieval at the bottom of the deck. I'm loving this, Pisces. You know, I do see, you know, with this Ace of Feathers, Hildegard von Bingen, right, become like a feather on the breath of God. Uh, and the Lovers, which is Gemini energy, right, air energy. That, yeah, you know, what I was, I was saying that there is like this, you know, with, the, we've got the two of coins here, right? You're, you're learning how to work with it, right? This Aquarian energy is quirky, you know, it's unusual. You can do that. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I really um, get this feeling like, yeah, okay. All right. This is, it was kind of weird at first, but I can do this. You know, you're working your magic here. I love it. Um, we'll get to that in just a second. So, yeah, you know, it's like I want to talk about the um, energies here. Oh, well, those look lovely together. Um, you know, this this general energy, this is a time that we're kind of, you know, clearing things out of our lives that we don't need anymore in order to create right? You are, you know, Beyonce here. She's like the magician and the empress all in one. Father of flames. He is creator energy, right? So yeah, you, and even this, this Jupiter and Capricorn, it's like you've, um, you've got this very manifest, manifestative <laughs> energy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, keep that in mind, right? Creative accountability. So, you know, this is making good decisions here as well with this lovers. So yeah, you know, trust anything that's leaving, let it go, right? Trust spirit here. Um, and there's also protection here. And I'm sorry if you hear the dog barking. And I do feel like, you know, with this sacred play at the bottom of the deck, um, Polychrome Jasper is about, um, it brings about inner balance. And it says to, um, hold on, let me look at what it says again. I had to look this up. Um, activates one's inner balance while helping you conform to your current environment, right? So it's like things are changing, right? <laughs> you know? So that's, uh, I think that's really um, 
awesome and this play right being playful and um you know this is the angel Caliel, i suppose is how you say it um he brings truth he's he's the uh bringer, bringer of truth so you know there's there's this truth here right so um things are being revealed you're being balanced and but this playful energy right and i get that with the the quirkiness right um so have fun right become like a feather on the breath of god just kind of let this time frame um just carry you right this daughter of cups is playful energy because i mean i feel like we have yet with this uh caravaggio right there has been this um darkness and there is going to continue you know this is part of this purification process right but just know that you're being protected throughout it and that this is actually you know it's kind of like um a shadow work for the collect <laughs> but you know this eight of coins this is a special eight of coins here and I, you know, I, I'm pulled to the tracery and the leaves, right? And the patterns that it makes and that it's just a part of the whole, right? And it's like, I feel we've been looking at our patterns. We've been, you know, trying to break out of those patterns. It's, it's difficult work. Um, there, you know, I'm not going to say that we've necessarily completely broken out of them yet but you know we're well on our way we're doing the work right so congrats i want to um commend you <laughs> and yeah i mean i do see you being confident right taking the reins with this father of flames being here alongside Beyonce and the colors just really um repeating right and we see you know this confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac and we see this uh leopard here so yeah creative fiery right and it's like you know there is all this um she embodies it all so it's a very balanced, but it's very creative, right? Magician, empress, um, father of flames, like, oh, it's, it's really powerful energy. Mm, I love it. And, you know, I get pulled to the bees hive here in the back, right? And it's like, no matter what, you know, in the lemonade, making lim lemonade out of lemons, but whatever spirit hands you, it's like you're just digesting it. What can I do with it? All right, let's go, All right? This is like it's transmuting everything, right? It's like pure air energy, pure um, Aquarian energy, move it through here. All of a sudden we're like, ah, okay. You know, just floating, cause look, we've got the, um, feather here yeah it's like okay let me explore this in my way i'm gonna take you know take this and, and kind of like uh explore it see what i can do with it you know turn it into magic this daughter of cups it feels like you know just floaty and magical and then here you know very earthy energy and we're going through here and you know it turns this air energy into a more grounded energy right very earthy colors here very balanced transformative with this snake right we have the snake here beside this too right we're transforming everything everything's getting transmuted here through you through this energy it's beautiful so yeah we've you know kind of talked about this a little bit and i don't know that you know I, I feel any different about it i think that 
you know, these, these footprints, there's like stuff in them. I've, it's like, there's, there's paintings. It's like every step you take, it's creating something, right? It's like this, I, I feel like I see um, some kind of bird here in this one, right? The beak. And I'm not sure what this is creating, what this is, but it's like I see paintings. I've never noticed that before, or patterns that are being created. So it's like, yeah, you're just floating, creating, balancing, you know, it's like really fabulous. I mean, you know, I don't know how else to say it. I, th I feel like, you know, there is like new information coming in, right? You're thinking in a different way than you have before, which is kind of what makes you feel weird and why we kind of have to do this balancing act. But you're making magic out of it. You know, there might be in the subconscious a little bit of fear, right? Sometimes losing beats winning. You have no understudy, right? Both of those have kind of a um, negative undertone. But I feel like it's just this shift, right? It's just like you're feeling this shift happening, the five of coins. And, but this is fresh energy, right? And there's truth here. <clears throat> And you're shifting the energy, right? Just like, um, this is just kind of getting used to it, right? This is Mercury in uh, Taurus, which when I think of it, you know, in a little bit of a different way, right? This is kind of like, you know, because Mercury is, um, it's mutable energy, but it's it's very brainy. It's very airy energy. <clears throat> And then it's like that fixed, you know, Taurus is fixed, Aquarius is fixed. So it's like, you know, we're kind of having to really work with it. And I think, you know, you're just doing that. You're just, you know, in this playful energy, right? If you're going to play, play with your whole soul. And that, it's like your subconscious knows that through this play, through playing that we're going to shift the energy. Hmm. Interesting. So this is the week that we have um, Mars conjuncting Uranus. Hmm. And it's happening in um, Taurus. So I kind of feel like this is, you know, this is that Uranus energy. This is that Taurus energy. And, you know, I just feel like there's this like aha moment, right? You get a, a, a burst of inspiration here. And who knows what's happening this week, right? There's like... It's all over the place. Most people, it seems like on the whole that, yeah, it's intense, but um, it seems to be mostly positive. People seem to be having more of a positive reaction to it. I don't know. <laughs> we shall wait and see. But, yeah, and it's, you're, you're making very grounded decisions. You're nurturing yourself. Right. And this, is, of course, if you weren't planning on it, then this is um, spirit saying you need to nurture yourself. <laughs> you need to make practical decisions. Right. And I do think you're you're making practical decisions. And I think that, um, yeah, you're you're just kind of magic right now. You know, and of course, I, I don't often say this, but 
you know, the way that I see how these, these cards, it's like, you know, yes, you're, you're thinking clearly, you're making practical decisions the whole time. It's, um, something very, um, material kind of happens here this first week right it's like this first week is when these kind of like are really making an impact whereas these are making more of an impact right it's like there's this overall energy that's happening right like you're being playful in your emotions you're um, learning from your emotions there could be um new you know ideas new gifts that are kind of uh, coming through here and here there's like this some um, connection with your higher self right with hildegard von bingen being here too i feel like um you're very balanced right the masculine the feminine the light the dark all of that it's very uh transformative keep on saying that <laughs> but I see it I can't help it but yeah I mean and there could be you know some some love happening here right this is this um full moon in Leo during this week and it is that um Venus is uh conjuncting Pluto that week which is giving this kind of transformative and it's interesting i get that strength energy from from this snake um i got a new deck and it has the uh hebrew letters and the hebrew letter that is associated with the strength card right which is leo is snake so that's interesting so, you know, I just see you kind of embodying, like everything is kind of getting a flavor of, of other elements, right? It's like the feather in this Daughter of Cups, the strength card, that fire in energy, right? As it moves through here, this is like becoming um, uh, earth and fire and air. Um <laughs> And water is sitting right here with it, right? You are water. It's like you're really um, just pulling all the elements together. You're working this magic. This could be, um, you know, playing artistically as well. I could definitely see that. It'll be a beautiful creation, I feel. <laughs> Communication with others, definitely. Like I said, you know, if you're in a relationship, this could be like a very sensual time. Uh, this could be, you know, Gemini's are very flirtatious. So we're, we're getting all this, this boost of confidence. You could be flirting if you're single and, and really... Um, just enjoying this kind of like um banter and and exploring ideas I, I really like just get this really almost experimentational energy from all of this and then the future we've got sun of flames here and you know this is like once again i just get this feeling you know this this drum here right it's like you've found a new rhythm, right? It's like you've, this is also my light worker card, of course. And it's kind of, um, but I feel like you've found this new rhythm. You found this new light. You found this new way of doing things. And it's like, there's this renewed vigor in your, you know, destiny, right? He's leaning forward, just, um, ready to take off and we are going to be you know taking off pretty soon it's still the, it's got this very playful energy right all these it's like oh yes look it's all these colors combined all in this ah oh, beautiful
Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a piece of art. For Pisces, please. For Pisces. Two left. Sleeping. Okay. So, yeah, this is kind of... Um, I feel like it. this is about... Um, taking care of yourself, right? This is purification. So don't forget that part because this does feel very um, energetic. So make sure you're, you're taking good care of yourself, right? This nourishment and the mother of coins because th this is, you know, this transmutation. And this even says... Um, that you've been absorbing negative energies. And if that's the case, then you definitely, right? This is transformation that's happening here. So make sure you're getting plenty of rest. This could also say that, um, well, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I was getting some, some messages here. I don't know what I was going to say. This is grounding, right? The red, passionate. Um, all right, he's giving this lecture this, and this feather here. Um, just make sure that you're, you're doing your meditation, you're getting your sleep, because um, that's when our healing, the transformation really takes place, right? This balance here. Because we are transforming, right? We are kind of um, gaining our balance again in this new world. Because there is a, a lot of energy. So, yeah. This is a reminder. <laughs> oh, and dreams, right? Make sure that you're paying attention to your dreams. And, you know, he looks kind of... Um, like a, a, a hobo, right? Um, and so you, this is, a, a, you know, your dreams might have you, um, destitute and, you know, kind of struggling. And this is saying, you know, this is, don't worry about it. You're, you're good. You're, you're covered, right? This cover here. You're covered. You're protected. This is just part of the shift. All right. All right, closing guidance. I'm really drawn to this shaman's oracle here. Yeah, because I'm like, you know, and usually in your readings, I'm like chill, but I'm like, mm, 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 mm. right, talking fast and just feeling very energized. Which is good. Just make sure you're getting plenty of rest. <laughs> Doing your grounding, right? Your breath work. Okay. Closing guidance for Pisces, please. Closing guidance for Pisces. Oh, there's one. Okay. Interesting. We've got Dancer of Friendship. Oops, at the bottom of the deck. We got Hunter of Honor popping out. And we got Dancer of Frustration, and it came out here, right? This is like. I want to read from it. These are really short, so. Because this is, uh, the guidance, let's see here. I am the dancer of frustration. I delight in placing obstacles in your path, but, can I, but I can also show you that there are paths to walk. What will you do when I appear? 
Either you will push against me to try to break my hold, or you will walk with me until the strength of my grip gradually begins to lessen. So while I may seem a negative force in your journey, I teach you to look for better ways to advance and how best to strengthen your resolve. release, determination to find a way. So I guess, you know, this is kind of saying, even though I don't see a whole lot, you know, like I said, I see it and it came out crossing here. You know, I see this, um, like I said, turning lemons into lemonade, it almost seems, um, Like it's just there. It doesn't seem like it's forced. But I guess this is just a warning, right? It's like everything isn't because everything looks really nice here. Like I said, there are um, some problematic uh, things going on in the skies. I just don't necessarily. And maybe it's, you know, also this these feelings right? It's like I, to I told you, I was feeling um, just kind of out of sorts. So yeah, there will be some bumps, but you're making, you know, lemonade out of the lemons here. You know, this purification, this release. Okay. Sometimes losing beats winning, right? It's like, don't let any losses get to you. This is just to strengthen you. Okay. I am the hunter of honor. I seek out honorable ways to live and move, both in this world and in that of spirit. I bring with me the honesty that honor requires, and I teach ways that will enable you to honorably exchange energies and dreams with the universe. Whenever you are tempted to act in a manner unworthy of you, I am there to remind you of the damage this can cause and the trouble it can bring in its wake. Honoring the world around you, um, celebrating differences, praising and accepting praise, honesty, respect. So look for ways. Yeah, I keep on getting that, you know, look for ways of honoring each other. And yeah, okay, so this is starting to come together now. These two kind of um, threw me off. The way that other people might be acting is going to bring uh, some frustration, I think. And yeah, this makes sense with this dancer of friendship showing here up here at the bottom of the deck, too. You know, how can we this is like those, you know, a five of wands, right? There's even five people here. Um, you know, the differences that we have. It's like, how can we honor those differences? How can we honor someone else's point of view? And even when they don't seem to be honoring ours, right? This is kind of like taking the higher road. Yeah. Honoring our past, right? And stepping into the future, right? This balance here. I feel like that's coming into play here, too. Yeah, we have the spirit of truth underneath the dancer of friendship, right? It's like this aha moment, I feel, kind of um, relates to this. Because I think this dancer of frustration, this is kind of pervading this whole, right, during this purification process, it's... Um, there are those that are kind of, you know, not wanting to let go. And of course, we need to honor the past as well. I 
All right, I'm gonna move him. <laughs> I'm gonna move him because he belongs over here. And yeah, because this is kind of these um, darker energies around us right now. But, you know, this is also saying we are protected, right? There's protection here. Um, and yeah, release, right? Release what you can't control. Um, and then look, I mean, this is sacred play. And then it looks, you know, these two, this dancer of friendship are playing. And I feel like this is, and then we have this beautiful renewal energy. Um, I had a, a reading the other day where, um, one of the ways that we could protect our energy was actually by projecting like um, love and playfulness towards others, right? This hunter of honor, even when they didn't see, you know, and of course to use your judgment there, but um, if you're just like, you know, <laughs> passing by someone in a store and they look, you know, uh, the kids crying and they look, you know, just kind of say something nice, right? Reach out. And this is going to um, help renew energy. It protects us. Um, and it, then they're like, you know, and this looks like a mirror. They begin to mirror us, right? It's interesting. And I almost feel like, you know, it looks almost like a sad face here on this person. And then it's like you're holding up this mirror out to them like this, right? And so that the mirror is facing them. And it kind of like, it's a protection, right? Interesting. And then they end up mirroring you. So, yeah, that's a nice little message there at the end. <laughs> Now look at this. We also have this, now that I've placed it, you know, this kind of, you know, this creating energy that we have, creating this future. Beautiful. All right. Well, sorry that I got confused there at the end, but it came together. All right. <laughs> I hope that that was helpful. I hope it resonated. And until next time, Pisces. Much love.